Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Dan and today I'm reviewing the road on a motorbike I just bought recently and um, I'm gonna take these um, beautiful roads through Rose River to Hilltown and I'm gonna show you um, how spectacular the view is and um, yeah, one of my favorite roads as well that I loved um, to get on the motorbike or you know even driving a car down this road it's it is absolutely beautiful especially when the weather like this in this country that is something that you can appreciate now how beautiful road Trevor or on this road can be so to you know don't let, we don't want to get too um to talking too much about it let's get on the road and review and um yeah, just go through together. So in case you don't even know where exactly I come from, which a lot of people, especially in the local here, confuse about, you know, my accent messed up and stuff. So yeah, so I just want to show this in this video. I'm from Cambodia and I live um, in Northern Ireland so about f almost four years now. And um, yeah, so that's why I can speak English. I mean, I learned English when I was um, the low age and, you know, working internationally with like a lot of foreigners and stuff. So, yeah, that's where I got the, the language from. Anyway, so, yeah, so we just passed four, two minutes away from, um, from Road Travel Hill, um, Road Travel Town, and you can see, um, I like the design of the houses design in this area it's quite nice you know beautiful and you know in Cambodia you don't really have this kind of view and um, yeah the road's kind of quiet um, this time it's um, four o'clock or five and usually it's quite a quiet road so I'm gonna try to check on this little roads here see where I will end up I just realized that I um, trespass actually and it looks like a hotel and there's a cell sign so I'm not sure but uh, I don't want to get into trouble just you know, leave this road and keep uh, going the main road from now so I'm gonna take left here um, still on the road Trevor to Hilltown's road um, yeah so let's go So um, yeah, so one thing that I've learned about here is you usually have the black background and white and black background sign to so show that um, it's our limit. So um, the national um, speed limit here is six, um, 60 miles per hour. So um, um, I know that you, the local guys, probably knows how it works here. But um, speaking of like Cambodia or some Asian countries and we don't have this so yeah continue on this road it's quite nice and yeah I still I still I still can't um, get my head around with um, the view here I mean going back uh, going to to hill towns from this road it, it's all right but when you when you drive back like the same with these cars uh, coming you will see such a outstanding views across um, the sea and also uh, more um, Clockmore Stones and you know, Kilburn Park and stuff. So Rock Trevor actually is such a beautiful place um, to live. And you look at the right hand side, it's like all those like um, yellow water mountains. And I actually love that place as well because I've seen the the move there. I've been there a few times. I love the waterfalls there, and it just it just you know so much stuff that you need to see and um, appreciate. So I'm hitting 32 mile per hour street right now. Um, yeah, I just I just love it because you can't just you know imagine like how beautiful island is because usually it's with grey weather there's always almost like no sun 
um, in these countries. Like it, it, for me, like I was Cambodian, as an Asian man, um, always live in the sunshine country to move into this kind of weather. It's a little bit like work. But um, yeah, that's why, you know, every bit of sun um, in this country, I'm, I feel more appreciated. So I like the fact that people building the house low down um, on the edge of the mountains and the gates and <laughs> everything. And it just makes everything so beautiful, even though those, um, those houses. Um, but surprisingly, like I've been driving here for quite a while now and there's no, no one come, coming behind me. Which is great because you know you're on a motorbike sometimes it can be slow to other people in fact. But uh, I'm having my own my own my own times and I'm enjoy riding on the speed and um, just to show you what's it like. So basically So I think I'm halfway between Rochtrevo and Hilltown right now and Ahead of me, it will be the, the the steep hill that going down, and that I think that um, splitting between um, Road Trevor and Hilltown. So I'm actually heading down right now. I love the view from uh, ahead of me, which is you know two mountains just like cutting the same terms, and then the road right in the middle, and there's grass. There's no trees. That is. I don't understand why you don't grow trees. Anyway, so if you if you if you see if you can throw your eyes to the distance, you can see the mountain ahead of me, which is Hen Mountain, I suppose. And um, it's beautiful. You can you if you look on the right hand side, you kind of see a little bit of Mon Mountains on the right hand side. Um, it's beautiful. I've been camping there virus time, virus of times and I really enjoy getting out and about and um, yeah love the grass all the mountains now I'm heading down yeah you can see all these mountains So if you look at those mountains up there, like all those like coming up hills ahead of me on the right hand side, those are Mon Mountains. You can't just you can't just right there, just ignore those places. It just it just spot in your eyes straight away. Beautiful, just plus the sun lights, the sun shines, and um, today actually blue sky as well. That's why I was like, right, I can't I can't just stay in the house. You know, just let let this kind of nice weather and nice um, evening goes by. So I have to I have to do this. Um, it's just refreshing. It's, it is refreshing. And, um, just you're never gonna get bored driving on this road. There's so much um, sceneries and beautiful. You know, just mind blowing. I remember when I when I first came here riding a, a car um, with my family, and then I, I, they just can't stop wowing to see all these beautiful landscapes and beautiful, like, you know, um, views and stuff. And I was like, "Wow, this is so cool! And this is so cool! And that one is cool! And that one's cool!" So, you know, up four years later, it just, just still feel the same, but it's not like. As a crazy hyper Asian um, dude just comes to the country and then completely um, innocent. So I've, I'm still like amazed, um, amazed in some of the stuff as well, which is great. You know, sometimes when you stay in one place, you just feel like you take things for granted. So I, I don't want to to get into that stage. So I'll I'll just Keep, keep, them, keep 
excited, you know, get excited about whatever I see, and whatever, wherever we live in here. Notice that I just cut um, down um, halfway between uh, Hill Town, so I'm heading up to um, Yellow Water or Yellow Road. Yes, Yellow Road. Um, it's, it's it's quite secret actually, so I think I un only a few people know this place. But um, yeah, so I often just like take it to secret place. Um, Halfway up, it's just like a, a lot of roads that you can just go um, road driver from road driver before Hill Town and just uh, cut up back to uh, Yellow Road. And Yellow Road is one of my favorite road. I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's a great place um, to chill and just for you know refreshing mind and you know it, it's a nice place. Um, so that's a farm, um, farmhouse. That's a house. I think the farmer uh, lives next to it. And um, yeah, I just like go through this like little road, and barely anyone um, driving down this road, or just mainly keep everything empty here. Or the farmer just leave all those cars and um, you know their farms and stuff. You can see the sunlight flashing into my um, my eyes it's beautiful like if you if, I don't know like it just it's just magical in this country when the sun is out and, you know I'm keep drying up and um, when you pass this um, grass thing fence and stuff and then you will be like in Molo like on top of the mountain almost but um, you know like lots of sheep and lots of fields and stuff. It's just, just beautiful. So that's why I, I decided to um, come down this road. And you can see, oh, look at these guys. I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, things are dodgy. Anyways, none of my business. Um, yeah, so just keep driving. And um, this is like a tractor road, or barely cars, vehicles coming up this road. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I mean, back home in Cambodia, I always drive to always drive to the place where the road is, didn't exist. So I, I have the same sort of like mind about you know being nosy and itchy food. Go to places that I've never been to stuff. It just it is it's just nice to see somewhere different and you know to discover somewhere completely different and also find out what they have there. I like to see that just part of me being nosy that's why motorbike is helping me a lot. You kind of see like I'm um, almost halfway right now and there's just a little ship house there in front of me and um, yeah, it's quite bumpy I mean it's not kind of road that you would like to take your Lamborghini here or motorbike it's fine but, um, yeah look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful loving it hey guys I think my video is almost done right now and um, um, yeah, thank you for watching if you guys love and enjoy this video and please give me um, a thumbs up and also comments if you you know want to see more of the views about um, with Trevor and um, County Downs area and I love to hear some feedback and some sort of stuff and um, yeah I'll be appreciated because you know 
it, it, it's, an, it, it's something that I love to to to, to do and um, to to show people um, for what I can find. So yeah, so don't look, don't look, don't forget to um, subscribe to, and you know comment on my channel as well. If you say uh, one more, just yeah, drop the link below. And up from that, I'm gonna you know, enjoy and um, heading home. Thank you so much for watching.